Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It's always a treat to have uh, the Chechen warrior leader uh, Kadyrov with uh, you know in an uh, article and uh, talk about him. It's kind of like an honor I would say uh, because he's always colorful and uh, I think uh, direct and I like direct people. So this article comes from the new voice of Ukraine and it's from today, September 11, 2022. Kadyrov expresses shock over Russian army's retreat near Kharkiv, threatens to take Odessa. Phew! Can you hear that? So he wants to take Odessa. According to him, the way the Russians left, quote unquote, the occupied Ukrainian settlements quote unquote, had its benefits, end quote. Well, he's not an idiot, I, I gotta tell you that. Now, I don't know if he says this because uh, he has to, uh, you know, justify something, but that's true. In any defeat, there, is, uh, there are some benefits too, but it's still a defeat. <laughs> so Kadyrov admitted that Russian troops fled from Izium, Kupiansk and Balklia in Kharkiv Oblast. However, Kadyrov expressed confidence that the defeated Russian troops will be able to return and recapture Ukrainian cities, as well as continue the offensive in other areas. Did you catch all this? Did you catch how he says? <sighs> Kadyrov admitted the Russian troops fled, that's the one, fled, not retreated, fled, which I'm, I'm just observing the, the, you know, the words the author of this article used. Express confidence that the, the defeated, so the Russians are defeated over there, will be able to return and recapture Ukrainian cities. Those are Ukrainian cities. They are not Russian territory that was given to Ukraine by, uh, <clears throat> we can say, some time ago. All right? All right. So, and I'm quoting, there, there are already our people there guys specially trained for this work. Up to 10,000 of our fighters are ready to set off and in the near future we will reach Odessa." End quote. Claim the Chechen warlord, warlord, though there is no evidence that these alleged fighters exist. The same I would say. There is no evidence, Kadyrov, only your word. And I don't think that that's enough. He followed up by noting that Russian military failures, failures led to their collapse on the Kharkiv front. And let's say, he says here that Russia transfers 1,300 Kadyrov troops to Kherson Oblast. We already covered that one. And I'm quoting what Mr. Kadyrov states. I am not a strategist like the Ministry of Defense, but mistakes were made. I think they will draw conclusions. Kadyrov stated, well, as crazy as these guys want to portray this guy, you see, he knows his place. He's not, he's not, um, he's calculated. He doesn't say, well, I will tell you how to do it. I will go over there and I kick the door in and tell all those guys, uh, you know, the Minister of Defense, how to, Minister of Defense, how to run the show. And uh, he doesn't say that. He knows his place. He said, I'm not a strategist. He's a fighter. But, right? But, and I'm not going to tell the chief strategist because they know better than I do. But I can also say that probably there were some mistakes made that we just got kicked in the teeth. And I, see, he's not that, an idiot as these guys try to portray him. I don't know how deep he is, but let's uh, have some more quotes from Mr. Kadyrov. And if today or tomorrow, changes are not made to the strategy of the special military operation, I will be forced to turn to the leadership of the Ministry of Defense, the leadership of the country, to explain to them the situation that is really happening on the ground. It is very interesting, very freaking awesome, I would say, the fact that we left, gave away several towns, villages. This also has its advantage. I'm listening. Go ahead, Kodirov, tell me the advantages. I'm dying to hear it. So he wants to go to the Ministry of Defense, he wants to go to 
to Moscow and say, hey, this is what's going on over there, guys. Clean up your act and let's go. He doesn't say, I'm going to tell them what to do. I tell them what the situation is over there if they don't know it. The communication, you know. So earlier, Kadyrov, despite his vaunted Kadyrov, Kadyrovites, Kadyrovites, fighting cadres documented failures in Ukraine, said that he was going to easily take not only Kiev during the offensive on which his militants suffered a shameful defeat, but also NATO states, end quote. Well, what can you do? Um, this is what he said, and I couldn't find out the, the, the good things. Did you find them? I couldn't find them in the article. So I would like to hear, Mr. Kadir, of what are the good things. I can, um, I can find some good things, but he claimed that and let him uh, bring the arguments and to support his claims. Uh, as I said, I'm surprised that he is not that uh, paranoid. As I said, I, wa I watched a few interviews, maybe three, with him in his palace you know, in Chechnya, and uh, he was direct, very, how should I put it, uh, simple, not sophisticated in his, uh, uh, you know, uh, speech, not uh, articulated as they say about uh, former President Obama, but this guy, uh, he made points, so he uh, had substance, uh, he didn't have uh, articulation, you know, uh, surface but he had substance whereas the other ones have uh, a lot of uh, articulation but no substance so I appreciate this one who's just simple in his talk but he's direct he might not be sophisticated but he tells tells you exactly where he's at he's got these conclusions and he's gonna go with this to wherever he's gonna go the other ones they always leave it like uh, yeah, it could be like this, but we could be like this. And they, they use a little flowers and articulation and all that. And at the end, they say, so, what did you say? Ah, that's what happens. And, uh, you know, I don't like weasels like those. I like people who are straight to your face. At least I know that's a criminal and that's a good guy. Or there's a guy who's going to do this. Instead of, well, he's my friend. And then they turn around and, you know, like Julius Caesar by his buddy. Brutus and his friends, friends, the senators in the Senate, right? March 15th, 44 BCE. Uh, we'll see what Kadyrov can do, but at least he's just uh, admitting that, uh, I mean, he, he's not a crazy man. Time out. He's not a crazy man in saying, no, man, we're winning, man. We're winning. We're kicked up. He's, you know, where we're going to take here. We're going to take NATO states. Now that's, you know what I mean? impossibility I would say not Kiev necessarily but uh, NATO states and now he's gonna take Odessa okay tell me how long before you take it so I can verify your performance it doesn't I will take it when in 50 years and by the time we'll die no 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 a year two years and in two years hey Ramzan what's up what's going on where are you at thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart Look for the truth and be just.